my name is Dan from Cenovators. So if you guys have been following our server and coverage, we promised you guys we would make a vlog of the filming locations. We did just that thing. It was a lot of fun. Very creepy to be there. You just got this weird aura that servant brings to you and it was really cool very happy we did it first time we ever made a vlog like this so if you guys want to see more like this please let us know but pretty much we're going to jump right into it i'm going to hop in and out to kind of explain some things but the first scene you're going to see is the actual turner block so let's roll right into that you know to get a, a better idea of where things are Okay, we are at the corner of 21st and Spruce Street. And if you guys could recognize this block, this is where Servant is filmed. So let's see how far the house is from this corner. This is the tree the homeless man was at when the ambulance came. And here's the house. Hey Jules. What's up? You're on the servant house. It's creepy. It is. It, even in the daytime, it gives an eerie feel. Right? This is where Leanne and Isabel walked right before Isabel was killed. And I did some digging on my own, but I couldn't find much. But that EMT gave me a small lead. He, one of them had been here on a call in August, and he wouldn't spill the details, but he seemed horrified. So this is the exterior of the Turner house, but actually the main interior shots is filmed in a former paint house in Bethel Township, Delaware County. But this is the exterior. This is where all the crazy shit happens. Would you go inside? Oh, yeah, I'd go inside. I'm too scared to go inside. I'm definitely going to be. Listen, <laughs> I mean, what's the worst that could happen? So this is the place where the homeless man was sitting when they didn't really need the ambulance called. The ambulance was right here. And this is where Isabel did the handoff to pay off the EMT. And just like the show, it's very close to the house. So thanks for our homeless man model. This is where it all happened. So when Isabel and Leanne were sitting on the bench, we went to that very bench and we answered some fan questions. But here's a picture of Leanne and Isabel compared to Julia and Alexis. So we figure since we're at the park that Leanne's always at with her Leannisters. We'll walk the block. Check things out. That would answer some questions. So first off, Elaine Spencer. Uh, sorry, we don't know anything about the green window. We can't find it. We were just at the house. Don't think it exists. At least not where they film the outside what do you that think? might be the point though that's true people are theorizing that when you do see the green window those things aren't actually happening in real life okay um so that that could be they maybe they filmed it elsewhere just to kind of throw us off a little bit and throw that element of mystery in there okay i like that but getting to your other question or statement or <laughs> idea <laughs> elaine thinks that sean left the baby in the car he is gaslighting everyone. We as the viewers are being gaslit as well. Leanne has no powers. It's her baby. 
these are the few things I come to believe to be true. I'm not going to say anything else till next season. Enjoy. I don't know if I agree with that. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I can see where that idea comes from for sure. Like, it could definitely be a possibility, but I'm... I have a feeling it's a little bit more complicated than that. I feel like that almost simplifies it too much. Yeah, I think the doll is the baby and not it's Leanne's baby. I think so. But hey, to each their own, if that's what you think, and maybe you're right. So I guess we'll find out. Next up from John. Wow, just wow. I have to agree with Jules. He agrees with you. As he should. I believe she nailed it. <laughs> Leanne will, nailed it. will really... <laughs> Leanne will resurrect Dot. It seems like everyone in the household is becoming Leanne's servant. Maybe Dorothy will actually fall in line now. Do you see Dorothy falling in line? No. Me either. No. Even if she is alive and paralyzed, not a chance in hell that she's going to just fall in line with what Leanne wants. Yeah, she can't. She's too much of a control freak. She can't. Yeah. So, another one that, you know, John may be right. You agree with Jules, but she doesn't necessarily agree with you right now. <laughs> But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Meg Delaney. Could Dorothy possibly be Leanne's biological mother? Dorothy has blocked this out. Possibly Leanne's biological father is him of the lesser saints. What, the hook man? I believe so. Okay, maybe. We better see the hook man, by the way. Uh, two. I predict Dorothy will be completely paralyzed and unable to speak. She will be left in a hot car and finally remember what she did to Jericho. <laughs> That's savage. <laughs> Who's going to leave her in a hot car? Hi, Leanne. Yeah, I guess Leanne could do that. Listen, she bu she's been doing some evil stuff, man. That's the main reason I hope that she's not dead, because I need her to remember what actually happened. Oh, yeah. Like, if we don't get to see that resolution, it's. I feel like that's going to be like a major plot point missed. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay, next up. Mary Termini. I wonder if Leanne is going to somehow bring Dorothy back the way she brought Julian back. She will heal Dorothy's body, but not her voice. So she will not be able to protest anything Leanne does. This feels very Little Mermaid. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you imagine she's like, I'll hook you up, but you're not talking. Oh my God. Enough talking out of you, Dorothy. I don't know if what would be worse for Dorothy. Not being able to move or not being able to speak. She loves to talk. She loves hearing her own voice. She loves to talk. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for your questions. Now we're going to show you a little bit more of the park and how far it actually is from the house. And they, the way they make it seem like it's right there. If you want to zoom over. That's the way they make it seem like they're at. But that is not Spruce Street. So we will walk over there and show you the actual oh, yeah. distance. But uh, thanks for your questions, and I hope you guys are enjoying this. Thanks. So this right here is the alleyway that Dorothy walks up when she confronts Leanne and her colt, and she wants Jericho to go home. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Dorothy. Hi. Oh. Get his stroller now. And here's where the colt is camped out. If you go back and watch and actually put a side-by-side, you can tell that their tents are here because you can see all the garages right here. What is it about her? She's extraordinary. And that's where they make it seem like the Turner house is, right? Some One of these houses here. But it's actually a couple blocks away. We're gonna do a walk to show you how far it actually is. But yeah, this is where the Leannisters were camped out, right here. And Sean or Leanne or somebody would come and give them food right through one of these fences. So again, they try to make it look like one of these houses is the Turner house. It's not. We will show you the full distance soon, but this is that area. It's really cool to be here. I wish they were filming now so I could see everything, but this is beyond cool to be here right now. So again, this is where Dorothy enters the park. And this is where they make you believe where the house is. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Now, 
we're going to get into how far the park is from the Turner household. And spoiler alert, it's not nearly as close as they make it seem. So we had a perfect question come in in regards to how far the park is from the house. So Lise says, maybe I'm too late, oops, but what the surroundings actually are. Like, is the park connecting with the backyard close at all or what? So here's the time lapse and you'll find out exactly how far it is. Thanks for the comment. But let's go for a stroll. This is actually how far it is from the park. <laughs> Back to Spruce Street. This is where the Turner House is. So here we are, Turner House. It's about four and a half city blocks, so I understand why they made it, made the park seem a lot closer than it was because it's just a lot easier, but here it is. This is where the craziness goes down. And again, there is the tree where the ambulance was called. Fucking Isabel. And this is it. Gotta tell you. I'm getting a creepy vibe being here. Where's Land's room? Up there somewhere. We also have another picture when Land and Dorothy are sitting on the steps of the house. So Julie and I re recreated that. So here's th those two pictures together. It was a lot of fun just to see what we could do, what kind of pictures we could make, what kind of footage we could get. And yeah, it was a great day. So here are those two pictures. And yeah, we had a lot of fun. And I would like to thank Julia, Alexis, and Chuck for coming along to help us make this video. To end the video, we're going to show you, Chuck, Chuck made this little rig of an RC car with a camera on it. And he went around the park. He went around the alley, like, you know, the alley that we always see that is apparently connected from the house to the park, which isn't the case. It's a really cool shot. So we hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, let us know. We'll do it. It was a lot of fun. Something new. So, uh, And we said we were going to do it, and we did it. So hope you enjoy, and here we go. <laughs>
So as always, I would like to say thank you for everyone who listened, everyone who asked for us to do this. And also again for Chuck, Julia, and Alexis helping make this video happen. This was a lot of fun. I can't stress that enough. But thank you guys so much for requesting this and hopefully you like it. So uh, we're going to be covering Barry season three. That starts April 24th. So look out for that. What just happened style. But yeah, hopefully you like this servant vlog and have a great week. We will see you next time.